Another summer Saturday, another Bandit Big Rig Series bash. This time, Elko Speedway in Minnesota, host of the Biodiesel 20, and things started off with a bang. It's gonna be Bob Mitchell. Bob, oh, we got contact in turn one. Heavy D, star of the Discovery reality show Diesel Brothers, driving the 51, and he got a little loose in turn one. Luckily, no damage done as everyone keeps on racing. Bob Mitchell, close to his home state of Wisconsin, he had some sponsors in the stands, putting on a good show for everyone. Off turn number four to take the checkered. Bob Mitchell is going to be victorious. The question is, who will be second? It's going to be Brian Cash in the 46. Marshall Davis right behind Cash Money in third. Heat race number two, Craig Kruckerberg, the godfather, looking to impress the fans in his native Minnesota. Oh, they're beating and banging at him. Bean and bang him, they go as they battle it out for the lead. And right now, the seven of John Lizenby has the lead. And Redbeard would keep that lead through lap eight. And the last thing he wants to see, of course, is a caution. But we get one heading into the last lap. Oh, we got to spin the four is around. Oh, it's never a party until Scott Treadway crosses the start finish line backwards. Tyler Kruckerberg going to the inside of Scott Treadway when the contact happens. I think it happens fast. I don't think Scott. I don't think Scott's spotter had time to tell him that that Tyler was there. So an eventful end to this race because on the restart, Craig Kruckerberg gets an early jump. Race officials want to do the restart again, but before they get everything lined up. Darren Prophet gets into the back of the Godfather and look at the damage to Prophet's number 27. That's a miscommunication if there ever was one because the yellow caution was out due to the early restart. So line them back up. Let's do it again. There we go. Godfather's got the jump again. Is he going to be able to hold it at him? Yeah. The Godfather's got the lead as we enter the... Oh! oh. Contact between the 55 and the 7, but they hold on to it. Oh! oh. It's contact between the 54 and the 4. My oh, goodness. my goodness. We're turning into a demolition derby. This may have been the most eventful heat race in the history of the Bandit series. Suffice to say, thanks to his great jump on the restart, Craig Kruckerberg takes the checkered flag, followed closely by John Lissenby. Third heat race, some heavy hitters here. Justin Ball, Mike Ward, Alan Bowles, Mark Noble, and the series points leader, Mr. Ricky Rude. First lap, a little rubbing going on between Noble and Bowles. Here's the view from Mark's GoPro. Little later, Noble gets loose coming out of turn two, hits the wall. Believe it or not, he's able to retain control and actually get to the inside of Bowles and eventually grab second place. But everyone was chasing Justin Ball during this race. He started in the pole position and led the entire race, takes the checkered flag in heat race number three. On to the Bandit shootout. Heavy D after winning several rounds in a row, squaring off with John Lissenby, and we'll just let Bandit announcer PT call the rest of the action. We're bumping. Heavy D is grinding. He's not making any friends. He's not making any friends. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh whoa. Heavy T and John listen, be not friends out here. Holy cow. Yeah, I'd say those two aren't going to be getting together for the holidays anytime soon. Listen, B knocks off Heavy D after some back and forth action. And then the finals of the shootout, Mark Noble and Ricky Rude. This one neck and neck the whole way, and the finish was so close, they had to go to the live stream replay. Officials checking the replay footage to determine that number 74, Mark Noble, your bandit shootout winner. Congrats to Mark, and an even bigger congrats to Mariah, who drew Mark's name prior to the shootout. She gets 100 bucks from shootout sponsor Food Liner. Challenge race number one, Marshall Davis in the lead, but Snowman right behind. And here comes Tyler Kruckerberg to the inside of Marshall Davis for the lead. Tyler Kruckerberg in the 54 is trying everything he can to get around Marshall Davis in the 41. Tyler Kruckerberg takes over the lead from Marshall Davis, but it's not by much. Eventually, Snowman puts some distance between himself and the rest of the pack. Off turn number four, the checkered flag waves. It's Tyler Kruckerberg taking the victory in the number 54. Big win for Tyler Kruckerberg. He's followed by Alan Bowles in second and Darren Prophet in third. Challenge race number two, Craig Kruckerberg on the pole. Mark Noble and Justin Ball battling for second early in this one. Oh, goes. we got trouble in turn number one, the 74. Already, Mark, Mark Noble. sideways. Wow. No surprise, the yellow caution flag comes out, and you can see on the replay what happened. Noble on the outside doesn't realize that Ball is making a move to the inside. He comes down on him. That creates the accident, but luckily everybody is okay. No harm, no foul as all the trucks continue to race. Later, lap seven, the Godfather in the lead. Noble and Ricky Rue trying to take it from him as they enter the front stretch. Three wide for the lead. Very cool. But Kruckerberg retains control in turn one. Less than a lap later, contact between Noble and Kruckerberg. 
Mark Noble almost oh, got the sideways. Oh, sideways? What a save. What Whoa. a save. Oh, my. Lost in the action, Root takes over first place, coming through unscathed, and good luck catching him, folks. Final lap, Adam Otwell with the call. Coming off turn number four, your winner of challenge race number two is going to be Ricky Root in the 14. Mark Noble finishes second at the same place his dad, Dave, won the first ever track championship. Pretty cool. On to the A main feature, and it didn't take long for business to pick up. Almost three wide into turn number four between the 14 of Ricky Root and the 54 of Tyler. Oh, we got one sideways. Heavy D sideways. Yeah. Craig that spun sideways to keep from T-boning him. Heavy D got loose and Craig Kruckerberg slid right into him. On his Facebook page the day after the race, Heavy D said he will, quote, definitely be building my own race truck to run this full series next year. How about that? Great news. Lap eight, Justin Ball gets on the inside of John Listenby and Boost takes over first place. 10 laps to go now. Ball battling lap traffic in the form of Craig Kruckerberg. Oh, and the Godfather gets loose in front of Justin Ball and that opens up the door for the Prophets. We're They're three wide for the lead. Him. Holy three smoke. wide for the lead. Three wide for the lead. Who's gonna get the advantage? Ricky, oh, oh. my goodness. On the on oh, Ricky, Ricky Root the, the grass. Whoa! What a save! What and a the save! The Godfather almost to the wall. Ricky Root takes the lead. Justin Ball back to second. Darren Prophet running in third right now. Oh my goodness! And there you go, Mr. Root taking over first. This guy will capitalize on any mistake. He'll take advantage of every situation. You have to bring your A game to beat this guy. Plain and simple. Two laps later, Boost tries to make a move. Justin Ball, here he goes to the inside Down of Ricky Root. He's going for it. Contact made. Ricky Root trying to hold on. He saves it. Ricky Root drifted that truck all around the three and four and saved it. Unreal. That is some talent right there. Last lap, Adam Otwell, take it away. We're going into the final few turns. Justin Ball's going to have one more shot here. Looks like he's going to run out of time. Ricky Root is going to win at Elko Speedway two in a row. Wow, great feature. What a great night of action at Elko Speedway. Justin Ball finishes second, John Listenby third, and Darren Prophet fourth. Afterwards, Ricky Rude on the action in that A main feature. I just shut my eyes, I think, half the time. I don't know where these trucks come from. It must be a full moon. My God, I just second in a row, went down south and where I'm home. I know I probably just can't understand me. I talk a little fast, a little country, but glad to be up in Minnesota. All you great fans come out here and pack this show out. Appreciate every one of you. We'll be back next year, I'm sure. So Mr. Rude remains on top of the point standings. Mark Noble in second, Tyler Kruckerberg third, Justin Ball fourth, and Alan Bowles rounding out the top five.